second chance for the lost and found and the ones that was never lost in the first place. Hey guys, Killer is here. So welcome to another OC speed paint. Today we're doing my OCG. So now a disclaimer here that I do have two OCs for Overwatch, but my second one is in a work of progress. The only reason I mention that now is because my second OC does intertwine with my main OC called G. So G is my first OC I've made, but before I made her backstory, it didn't make much sense. Of how she ended up the way she is so I added another character and I am just working on to her as well and um, <laughs> yeah so this is my character called G and I tried to make her fit in the overwatch world uh, including lore and everything that's gone on so this I have updated her to uh, the point where Overwatch 2 has been announced and what information was given. So she is kind of up to date to that. Um, I made sure uh, she could fit in the gameplay as well. Um, I have uh, used the forms on the Overwatch website that they had uh, for their heroes, especially like Reaper Diva, Hanzo, and all that stuff, like the backstory, their abilities, their how much damage they do. I think that was a different website but hey yo so sort of thing so um, yeah I've actually done my research on like how much cooldowns there are as well on my seconds how, how much damage uh, each character does to intertwine G into possible gameplay of it so in this video for the rest of this video now that I'm gonna bring out my uh, form that I've made for G so like I can bring out the information again this form will be included in my DeviantArt um, a page that I have which I'll be posting all my OCs and their stories under it in the description so you get a rough idea so let's get on to the form before I lose my voice because honestly I am losing my voice right now all right Overwatch C G Roll damage difficulty three stars. Uh, name G, age 20, a corporation unknown, base of a corporation unknown. Um, <clears throat> I hate these words. Uh, Ephalation, uh, Overwatch formally recruit. Quotes, we all ha got our second chances. Abilities Bluster Rifle, a high power rifle that only works better in long range, which holds about 30 bullets and does about 15 to 20 damage. G Duels, close combat dual pistols known as the G Duels, high damage close range with around 50 bullets and does up to 10 or 20 damage. Soul Sword, Soul Sword is used really up close and does a damage of 12 to 15 depending the distance but it's highly dangerous to use while in a fight. Miss Move G's sword turns her into a slightly invisible mist to a different spot but depending where her sword lands and it can be used to perch onto certain surfaces when been thrown into a certain direction. It has a cooldown of 8 seconds. Backfire, only available with Soul Sword in hand. G can block half of the damage with her robotic arm and as much damage is done to her that has been blocked times her own damage with the Soul Sword, the damage only lasts for 20 seconds or stops upon death and the cooldown is 15 seconds but if G dies in the 20 seconds, the cooldown becomes 25. Soul Poisoning, only available with the Soul Sword in hand. Soul Poisoning is a poison that damages a hero's soul with 5 damage per second, then returning to G after hitting a surface, and when dead you can't be res at all as it will show a green mist around them. The sword can't pass by shields and get stuck in them and damage the shields instead. Once broken, it can return to G or miss move towards the shield instead. Eye Tracker, only available with the Bluster Rifle. With G's robotic eye has a scanner and she can track down enemies through walls in a 5 meter distance and only G can see them, it has a cooldown of 40 seconds. Smoke'em, 
only available with the bluster rifle. G has a smoke chamber in her arm that she shoots into an area and smokes it with a green mist that reveals and blind enemies in that area and has a meter of 10 but depending the room she is in and again she can only see them. It has a cooldown of 20 seconds. Death Spin Only available with the G duels. Death Spin is an area attack which G spins about five times with a limited ammo going out and once it ends she would have to reload and have a cooldown of 15 seconds back off only available with g duels g has an erotic leg which the which she isn't afraid to use back off makes her lunge at an enemy and giving them a nasty kick that gives them a knockback effect and does 50 damage to them and it also has a cooldown of 15 seconds Ultimate Chance G's ult is a dangerous but takes long to build as her ult gives her teammates a second chance by stealing nearby enemies health but more to the ones who killed them. Like the old 5 men res but she can only bring back 3 but they only come back with half of their health with a temporary shield of 50 while taken down and can only work when she is in view of her dead teammates. Passive Leg grip. G can run on walls and climb them. She can hang upside down and have a jump boost. She can jump off walls to gain extra movement, but her leg has a certain amount of energy that can only build up upon being on land or perch up on her sword. It can last up to 30 seconds. Background Story G was never called G. Just that weird girl who lived in an orphanage, with everyone avoiding her despite her attempts to make friends. She stayed alone for most of her life, before a girl who was a little older, called Scarlet, came in. G was the only person who'd been nice to Scarlet despite her pushing G away, but G's smiles was the only reason Scarlet was closer and acted like a sister. They both stayed together and agreed on making the world a better place. After some years, Scarlet was let into Overwatch and became a hero. G looked up to her and trained to be part of Overwatch herself, so they could be side by side. Once G was old enough and had the right training, she was accepted and trained harder with her team. Despite being there, she would look for Scarlet. She would ask other recruits if they seen Scarlet, but no one doesn't know who she was on about. Then her and her team were chucked into battle against the Omnics to fight for everyone. Yet Bastion units surrounded G's team and ended up shooting her right eye out. The team called up backup, but G wasn't having it and gone into the fight more despite her eye. She ended up taking cover before seeing a strange shape of stone that looked like a sword. She blindly went to pick it up before nearly getting shot by a nearby Bastion unit, yet it got shot down quickly. When G sees who got her back, she saw it was Scarlet. She got up as she smiled and just says how happy she was to see her before she was silenced by Scarlet as she called her a fool and says that she was never gonna join Overwatch. At first, G was so confused before she saw some Omnics standing by Scarlet as if she was like them. Before G could react, Scarlet had strike her down by using her bladed staff to slice her right arm and leg clean off. That's where she had the stone sword in hand. Now G was lying on the cold floor of the battlefield where her life was slowly fading away and felt her heart slow down with each heartbeat. She felt alone knowing her closest friend stabbed her in the back. Then everything turned black. But that wasn't the end for her. Faith had other plans. Next thing she knew, that she was in some type of hospital. She took notice of her robotic limbs, and by moving the bandages away from her shot out eye, was now replaced by a robotic one. She felt different, more alive. Jack, Anna and Reyes had found her and luckily saved her life and used this medical tech for the first time, so she wouldn't live with nothing. With her upgrades, she started to train. Before she could only handle a dual pistol, but she was taught to use a rifle as well. 
Yet now they thought she owns a sword too, due to being one next to her, and it wasn't covered in stone. She didn't question it. After a while, G gained her name by being Agent G, which she accepted. She went on a couple of missions and proved herself very well, and became a great, great and pos positive team member. Sorry, that. Yet those happy memories didn't last long. Her 49th mission was her last. The Omnics had attacked the Arctic, and G was chosen with some others to go with the captains. She stayed by her teammates until she noticed someone else in the battlefield. Scarlet was also there and took a higher ground. G didn't listen to anyone as she chased her down on an icy cliff that had the view of the entire battle. G stared at the back of Scarlet's head before she turned around to face G. Air turned more colder as they stood there in silence before G asked her, "Why?" In response. Scarlet strike her with the same attack she used when G had her limbs, but luckily G had used her rifle that got destroyed easily. Scarlet spoke, saying that humans were the reason for this war, that they blamed the robots slash Omnix for everything. She claims Omnix are in the right, and humans had denied them that push to this war. Scarlet ch Scarlet charged into G before G blocked her hit with her dual pistol. Scarlet went on how all humans should be killed due to their selfish needs. G didn't understand as that includes herself. When Scarlet became too much, G pushed her back and gave off a warning shot that hit Scarlet's arm. The real truth was now revealed. Scarlet's arm was metal, and now saw the circuits in her eyes. She wasn't human. Even the speed she used to knock G over and make her drop her pistols. G had only one weapon in defense, yet she had never used this strange sword before, due to not knowing how to use it. G pulled the sword out as she became one on one with Scarlet. The tension was in the air as they started to circle around each other. G understood what she means, but it wasn't the truth. G looked down at the battle and saw the men and women who are fighting for people's safety. G now saw the two sides from everyone, but Overwatch was different. G quickly saw Scarlet strike her, but she blocked it with her sword that released a green energy around them. Same with Purple. Sparks came from each side as both energy fight against each other. G wasn't given up on what she knows. Scarlet felt like an omnig and wasn't treated fairly. That's why everyone avoided her due to fear. But G was her only friend and stayed by her side. G felt her soul and heartbeat, knowing why Scarlet was doing this. She decided to show it. G shouted no, which the green energy became a bit stronger. She told her that not everyone was selfish and cruel. Overwatch was made for heroes to save everyone, humans and omnics. Scarlet became angry, and her purple energy became stronger, which nearly overflows G's. Yet she couldn't shut her up. G went on that Overwatch wanted to protect everyone from harm and this war. Overwatch didn't want to single anyone out. Then G's energy became more strong. She went on how everyone wasn't cruel. If they were, G wouldn't of care for her in the first place. G wouldn't be close to her like sisters. She saw how Scarlet trying to shake that out of her head. But it was true. I never saw you as an omnic or human, but someone with their pure soul and wanting the best in life. G's last words was the final strike, as Scarlet screamed as her energy overpowers G's. The light blinded them both, and seeing G was on the floor, possibly knocked out, gave Scarlet the chance to attack. She formed purple icicles in the sky to rain down, but she ended up having second thoughts. G saw her about to attack and stood up and ran towards her. She threw her sword away that flew very far as she ran. G saw her lowering her arm to strike, but G had tackled her off the cliff. 
They both fall into the cold water as G showed Scarlet her last smile before they both got consumed by the cold water. G's sword in the meanwhile had strike down an Omnic that caused a chain reaction. The war was won for the cost of G's life. They show her sacrifice in the Overwatch Museum, which held her sword and Scarlet's staff. They had a moment of silence and left the place as it closed for the day. The next day, the sword was gone. After a few weeks, a couple of bandits wannabes had came across the abandoned train station located near Route 66. It got shut down due to ghost stories or dangerous criminals hanging around. The bandits was looking for loot as one came up to one container and opened it. He saw someone was living here, as it has computers, bed, tools, and photos. He took notice of a robotic arm being fixed up with a strange sword with green carvings on it just next to the arm. He was going to steal it until a gun was pointed to his head. The others waited for their friend before seeing him getting kicked out and knocking Gatainer over. They looked back as a figure came into play as they snapped their arm back on that held the sword which glowed a green mist. The figure stared up at them with the bright green eyes. G wasn't dead. The night when the museum closed, the sword had glowed green as mist surrounds it and moved itself from inside the glass. A figure was made and soon turned to G. She gasped for air and spit out water to see she wasn't in the water. She noticed the staff and her sword that started to carve symbols and G at the end. G now know her purpose from the sword and taken something from Scarlet's staff in case she comes back as well. G could have head back to Overwatch, but she was more useful of being dead. After many years of hiding in the shadows and gained information, she had lived this way until receiving a call from a monkey called Winston. He was calling Overwatch back, saying that this world needs them. G looked to her sword and she then knew that he gave the right call. She had the right to stay hidden until Narsactor had attacked. G now can finally put her full use and come back to Overwatch. They'll be needing her help. And there you go, there's her story and her abilities. Hopefully you do like her idea and the idea behind it as well. Uh, hopefully it does um, fits well into the Overwatch universe, in the game, and um, lore. I do kind of feel like she can, can be kind of OP. That's why I try to like indicate cooldowns and possible ways of shutting her down. And given it limited, that's why I added it three stars. So I want to, she's powerful, but I also want to make her a bit difficult to play as. And the idea behind her each abilities, because she has so much, is that you know how Mercy can switch to a pistol and her staff. Uh, I thought that maybe each ability connects to one weapon. So like the Bluster Rifle has two, uh, the sword has two, well mainly it has one because Miss Move you can use for each of one of them. So I've been thinking of the control buttons as well for it as well. So like each weapon she contains has two abilities but the soul sword only has one with miss move alongside it so um, yeah i tried to make her sound like a difficult character but also like an impactful character especially for ultimate like when i was saying that she has to be in view of her tea her of her dead teammates is that so she can be easy to target at like one shot by a widow make a shot that I'll cancel her ult out and I want to make sure that her ultimate the way of building her ultimate is like difficult as well so it's very difficult to like build everything up so she has to do tons and tons of damage that's why I put her in damage um damage category so to speak so um 
yeah, hopefully you like the idea of her and to me it does kind of sound like it fits in Overwatch but I don't know, I might change her up a bit again but I'm not quite sure yet, I like the way she is now uh, might change it in the future but um, yeah, this is me trying not to make her sound like an OP character when really she's not supposed to be because I have limited her most of her abilities to like cooldown, like longer cooldowns, um, consequences, like the um, where she can build up more damage through her soul sword. Oh wait, she does have two abilities for soul sword. What am I on about? I have felt, I obviously forgot about that. Like she can take damage, but when she dies, she has a five second more cooldown on her ability. Of a bit of a consequence so that's why I want to put her in a difficult category and possibly have her as a chance of being a character that it's kind of balanced also overpowered in a way but also not because she has these many weaknesses that can be dealt with but being played properly and being learned of how she works then it possibly sounds like she's OP but Hey, but yeah, hopefully you uh, do like her and I will get on to making Scarlet, which was my second OC. I don't know to give her a code name that I did for G because G never had a name. That's why I was referencing that at the start, that she never had a name up until she got into Overwatch. That's where she's got her name. So, uh, yeah. I don't want to uh, dwell on this anymore because my throat is hurting and I don't know what else to say. So anyways, hope you guys uh, like G and uh, hopefully would be excited to see what Scarlet looks like. Um, I would say G is like one of my most favorite characters that I've made so far as an OC. Um, I feel like she's one of like the serious ones that I've made because like some of them I have does isn't that serious. I would say they would be like kind of both so funny at the same time and cheerful sort of thing. I'm not trying to be a Mary Sue, I am aware of that. I am trying not to make her or any of my OC as a Mary Sue, just something that fits in the lore and um, the genre of the whole situation thing. Okay? I'm not a Mary Sue, okay? Free! Leave me alone. But anyways, yeah, hope you guys do enjoy G and hope to see her more as well because I will try to like make more stuff that includes my OCs and of course my others as well but anyways yeah that's pretty much it for G so that's pretty much it for me if I am so tired this is what I mean <laughs> Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like. Comment down below if you want to. And subscribe today for more stuff like this. If you want to, I'm not forcing you. And if you have, you can hit that bell button right there next to the subscribe button. That will get notified of my next videos. Because you never know. It could be another OC drawing video. And it could be Scarlet that time. Anyways, yeah. That's um, pretty much it. Good night, Sissy. Is that for now? Enjoy the rest of the video. Go sing out.
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Unknown brain. Marvin Divine. Uh, I'm saying bye to all the lies and all the times you cried Saying that I wasn't right, yet I was right by your side You manipulator, playing games, your friends commentators And I don't know what you say about our private conversations But it's got them hating, thanks to all the rumors you be claiming It's cool, I'm done with you, so they can throw you a celebration You gon' hate it when you see me with somebody living better I'm trying to tell you that me just doing me gon' have you jealous, uh Now you gotta face the music I'm saying 